home of local Christian music. Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise.
light a fire of flame in my heart The chains of now come undone I'm on my heels about to run
everyone, good day and welcome to another episode of Amplify Podcast, the home of local Christian music. And I'm Douglas here and today we got a great program lined up for you and we believe that you're going to be richly blessed by our podcast today. And we hope you've been uplifted in faith by the first two songs and they are Dance to the Rhythm by Generations Worship and Pursuit by City Worship of City Harvest Church. And we've got more local worship anointed songs coming right up for you. And we got songs by Impact Live Worship, New Creation Worship, as well as Yan Chu song taken from his newly released EP called Tribe and Tongue. So don't go away, you will definitely don't want to miss out on hearing these songs. And also we have our Amplified Devo Originals coming up later on in our program too. And this is a segment where we share our devotions which are prayerfully written to refresh, renew and restore your soul in Christ. And today we are going to talk about bitterness. Yes, like are we resentful towards our spouse, our parents, siblings or our bosses, colleagues, close friends or even the government? And how do we know that we have bitterness? Well, one symptom of bitterness or resentment is complaining. And you know, when we start complaining, that's where you know that you have bitterness. And today we are going to talk about how bitterness towards people and God will ruin our lives, our health, our relationships, and also how it prevents us from receiving healing from God. So stay tuned for our Amplified Devo coming right up later on. And also do pop by our website which is www.amplifystudiosg.com because you will find a lot of interesting stuff there. You will get to listen to our podcast, you get to check out the Christian artists and churches whom we feature on our podcast as well as listen to more of their songs. And when you scroll down at our homepage, you will find our prayer and praise column. So if you have any prayer requests, big or small, you can write into us on the prayer column and we will pray with you on our Amplify podcast and don't worry it is anonymous so you can write in as many prayers as you like and we believe that when we combine our prayer faith together miracles are going to happen and when they do happen you can write in on our praise column and this is a column where we want to give God all the glory and testify His goodness and mercy. And we believe that this will encourage our listeners, especially if they are going through the same situation as you and need the faith to believe God for their miracles too. So don't hesitate and write in to us. And also do click on the Partner With Us tab on our website too. It'll lead you to our Patreon page where you get to see all our goals and vision that God has given for Amplify Studios and how your contributions will help to achieve them and bring glory to God. As our podcast is not for profit and we don't get a single cent from doing them, your contributions will not only help to keep Amplify Studios up and running, but you will also help us to build our vision, which is to see revival in the land through the local worship songs that are inspired by the breath of God. And we truly believe that this is an awesome tool and vehicle to carry the gospel to the lost through this podcast with our local anointed worship songs and devotions. So we pray that together we can spread the love of God to all who listen and save as many who hears them. And this podcast is also a great platform to encourage your soul and lift up your faith no matter what you are going through. So do pray about it and join us as our patron today. Alright, moving on, here's a song by Impact Live Worship Call to you. And this song is taken from their album called Unshakable, as well as a song called Supply by New Creation Worship from their newly released worship album called As He Is, So Are We. And last but not the least, to end off this episode, we have Yan Chu with the theme song of his latest EP called Tribe and Tongue. And this song also features Josh Yeo. So don't miss it. Have a great week ahead. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to the best mix of local Christian music. Only on Amplify Podcast. Home of local Christian music. Only on Amplified Podcast. Make loud his praise.
Hi Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Hi Amplify listeners. In today's Amplify Devo, we'll be talking about cross out bitterness. And scriptural reference can be taken from Exodus chapter 15, verse 23 to 25. Now when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Marah. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. Water is essential for life. Doctors encourage us to drink at least 3 to 4 liters of water every day to stay healthy. In fact, up to 60% of the human body is water, and 71% of the earth is covered with water. In most of the developed countries today, we have access to clean water. With clean water, we are able to stay healthy and eat healthy too. However, for those underdeveloped countries, access to clean water is scarce. Many people in those countries don't even have access to water, let alone clean water. Thus, living conditions are rough, and many have fallen sick and diseases are rapidly increasing in these areas. Even if water is available, they are not clean. And when the people drink from it, they will fall sick too. The Israelites also encountered a water problem when they were on Exodus from Egypt too. The Bible said in Exodus that they came to a place called Mara, which means bitter. This is because the waters of Mara were bitter and the Israelites can't drink them. This was a serious problem. Three to four million people have no clean water to drink or cook. And the Bible said that they complained. They didn't complain to Moses. They complained against him. They were angry and upset with Moses for bringing them to such a place. But God wanted to test their faith in him and show Moses and the Israelites something about himself to them. So when Moses cried out to the Lord for help, the Lord showed him a tree. And when he cast the tree into the bitter waters, it became sweet, and the people drank from it. In today's context, if you throw a tree into the water, the water won't turn sweet. It will be dirty instead. Scientists won't be able to scientifically tell you the reason how that can happen. In fact, it is impossible. It can only happen by God's miracle. God wants to show them something and actually there's a lot of spiritual meaning in this that we can take it for ourselves today too. If we read on in verse 26, the Lord said to the people, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. The context here is about sickness and healing. You see, one of the root causes of us not being able to receive healing is because of bitterness. Bitterness can come in the form of resentment or hatred or disappointment towards people or even God. Bitterness will cause us to complain. Bitterness will hinder us from receiving God's healing for us. And the Israelites were bitter. They were resentful towards God Moses and probably their life circumstances too. They were so resentful that they complained a lot and even wished that they were back in Egypt. And they were resentful towards Moses, 
God's servant too, as they were complaining against him. So how do we solve or break free from this bitterness that plagues our hearts and prevent us from receiving healing from God? It is only through the cross. The tree that Moses cast into the bitter waters represents the cross of Jesus. It is only when we acknowledge that we who are utterly sinful and are helpless to save ourselves are gracefully saved through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, can we only be free from bitterness. The cross is the symbol of God's love for us. When we know how much we are loved by Him despite all our weaknesses, faults and wrongdoings, then we can truly be able to let go of our hate and bitterness. Beloved, let us not let bitterness steal our joy and healing. The Lord wants to be your healer. When we behold Jesus who was crucified on the cross, it will humble us and we will receive the grace that will break the yoke and bondage of bitterness. When that happens, healing will rain down over us and no sickness and diseases will overcome us. He is not only our Lord and Savior, He is our Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Let's cross out bitterness with the cross of Jesus. sound of all creation groaning for the revealing of the sons of God. I can hear the sound of nations crying, how long until you come? And I know this presence of suffering It's not worth comparing to the glory you've prepared for us on the day when you come. So we set our hope on what we cannot see. No longer just the groans of creation, but every tribe and tongue singing heaven song. From the rising to the setting sun, we sing glory to the righteous one. And I know this presence of Not worth comparing to the glory you prepared for us on the day when you come. So we set our hope on what we cannot see. No longer. And song singing heaven song from the rising to the setting sun. 
from the rising to the setting sun, and we sing glory to the righteous one. We sing glory to the righteous one. Listening to the home of local Christian music, Amplify Podcast. Make loud His praise. 